Hi, in this short how-to video, I'm gonna show you how to tune your plant tag system to optimize the tips, tasks, and alerts the system automatically generates for you. Remember, plant tag's powerful algorithms in integration with NOAA optimize care tasks for each and every plant you add to your zones based on precisely where you live. Caring for plants takes time and attention, which can vary greatly based on the type and species of plant and also based on where you live. So even though we can hide the tasks, that doesn't mean they aren't necessary to help your plants thrive. So let's get started. The first place to optimize your filters is at the yard level. If you have more than one yard set up in your system, you can optimize your yard level filtering tasks uniquely for each yard. Let's first go look at the pending tasks I have set up in my yard. If I click on yard care and scroll down, you can see I've got fertilizer tasks, pruning, some watering tips, and some sunlight tips. If I scroll back up, we're now gonna go look at the preferences. I'm gonna click on the edit button, which is a circle with a pencil in the middle of it here in the top right-hand corner, like that. And you see we've got two tabs now in the yard edit. We've got a general tab and a preferences tab. The general tab contains the attributes that you use to set up your yard originally. If I click on the Preferences tab, you can see we've got settings for tips, tasks, and alerts. And then all the care tips and tasks that you might see, planting, sunlight, watering, and so on. By default, all of these filtering attributes are turned on. Your selections here will affect what you see in all of your zones as well as the plants you add to your zones. You'll also see an auto skip pending tasks older than 30 days value. This is by default turned on as well. This is a great feature to automatically skip all old but pending tasks. When this happens, all your stale tasks will be rescheduled for the next recurring time plant tag determines they may need to happen, which could be daily, weekly, monthly, or even annually. The value for watering days will help plant tag optimize what days you're able to water or want to water, which should coincide with the neighborhood watering restrictions you might be subject to. And the last value is a setting for what type of irrigation system you have available. Let's turn off watering and sunlight tips, as well as pruning tasks, and see how that affects the tasks in my yard. So back at my yard screen, if we scroll down, go to yard care, and look at the tasks that are present, you can see there are no pruning tasks, and the sunlight and watering tips are gone. Let's now go look at a zone and see how these filter selections have affected the tasks that are present in the zone care. I'll choose backyard zone, zone care tab, and you can see there are no watering or sunlight tips or pruning tasks present. So in this backyard zone, if I scroll down, choose the butterfly bush and hop over to plant care, you can see there are no watering or sunlight tips or pruning tasks listed. Now let's click on the plant filter icon, which looks like audio controls in the middle of the screen on the left. We see three tabs, filter, sort by, and other. The filter tab shows pending, completed, suspended, and how many days in advance you wanna see tasks. Sort by is how you want the list sorted. The other tab is very important, and that's what I want to focus on right now. This is where you choose the fertilizer strategy specific for this plant. And you can see if we open this up, we've got unknown, liquid, granular, slow release, and no fertilizer. Choosing this value correctly for each plant will automatically filter out fertilizer tasks for this plant, which are not relevant. If you're seeing several different fertilizer tasks for a plant, it's because this value is not set. So that's it for filter settings in plant tag. Getting these filter values dialed in will help optimize plant tag for your yard and your style of gardening. For more information about plant tag, visit our website at planttag.com where you can subscribe to our blog, access our gardening resources, or get answers to your questions in our new community forum. You can also find and follow us on popular social media communities such as Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn or you can reach us via email at info at